Earth has had two moons for past three years, and no one noticed. Has real happened? The boffins at the Catalina Sky Survey have stumbled upon an amazing and slightly goofy discovery, apparently Earth has had a second moon for the past three years, and nobody noticed. This mini-moon is actually an asteroid, measuring between 1.9 and 3.5 meters, 6.2 and 11.5 feet in diameter, that was temporarily captured by our planet's gravity. Named 2020 CD3, we picked up our second moon some time in 2017, but, given how vast the sky is and how dark the moon is, it never caught anyone's attention, until now. Estimates of near-Earth asteroids and meteors can reach into the millions, but we've only officially discovered around 22,200. Most don't give off much light until they smash into our atmosphere, while others get trapped for a brief time before being fired back into space. According to a 2012 supercomputer simulation, these mini-moons are extremely rare, of the 10 million virtual asteroids in the sim, only 18,000 got captured in Earth's orbit. Funnily enough an asteroid called 2006 RH120 was considered a mini-moon as it orbited the Earth for roughly 12 months between 2006 and 2007. There may have been another contender which made a fiery exit from this life in the skies above Australia recently. These mini-moons provide a good opportunity to study an asteroid without having to trek out into space and use up a ton of resources to reach them. Unfortunately, according to orbital simulations, 2020 CD3 will depart some time in April 2020. Now, astronomers release first color photo of Earth's new second moon we all missed. Until recently, many of us Earthlings were blissfully unaware that our planet had gained a second moon. But now 2020 CD3 has become such a superstar, we're using giant telescopes just to catch a glimpse of it. Part-time paparazzi, full-time astronomers at the Gemini Observatory in Hawaii, snapped the stunning pictures of the car-sized carbonaceous rock using the 8-meter Gemini North telescope. The image is actually a combination of three separate images using three different filters to capture our new natural satellite in all its glory. Obtaining the images was a scramble for the Gemini team because the object is quickly becoming fainter as it moves away from Earth, explains Gemini Observatory astronomer John Blakesley adding that the new celestial superstar 2020 CD3 is expected to leave us forever some time in April. Fear not, as there are already rumors circulating of a new generation of mini-moons that could already be orbiting the Earth. We expect to find a population of these objects once the Rubin Observatory is operational, said Grigori Federitz, the lead astronomer for the Gemini observations, referencing the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, whose sole purpose will be to scan the skies for similar, previously unknown, objects.